Hello, hi, it's me again. Um, today I'm gonna um, show you how to prepare a fertilizer for your plants, okay? Uh, it's a natural homemade fertilizer. I'm gonna mix just two different, uh, two different um, um, different uh, products <laughs> to make uh, my fertilizer for my plants. This fertilizer can go in any plant, okay? Can be vegetables, can be fruits, can be uh, any any plants, even orchids. You can you can spray it uh, or, or, or water your plants with that uh, fertilizer. It's a natural one. Uh, so yes, I'm gonna prepare it and I'm gonna show you how to prepare uh, all the steps so you can have something very safe for all your plants doesn't matter if it is vegetable or if it's fruits or if just ornamental plants any plant okay roses any plant that you you feel that they are not um, doing very well so you can fertilize your your plants with this one and then you boost your plant and even if it's dying you know if they the losing leaves etc they will help to um, to fertilize it and uh, make it stronger okay so let's go for it what i have here yes look what i have here is this one okay what i did is i i did that process of putting them on the paper on toilet paper down and then cover it with the toilet paper also. Okay, look, let me put it a little more down. And then I, I allowed it to grow for, this one is about five, six days. So what the root does is there is everything that you needed here, even to, to um, make the roots to grow, okay? If you if you if you want to make um, uh, a stick, any stick of any any flower or any rose, etc., to grow, you just have to have this this compost, this not compost, this fertilizer. Okay, you can take a branch of of uh, of um, a rose, for example, and uh, when when you do this, what I'm doing now, what I'm gonna do now, you put it on this on this product that I'm gonna do and leave for about uh, one day and then put on the ground, they will grow roots on it. So it's very good to, to, uh, to boost the roots of any branch that you want to make uh, grow, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend it, okay? I'm going to blend it here. So they have to be... The lentils have to be uh, with roots, okay, like this ones here. Uh, when when you do just with lentils, you can do just with the lentils also. You can blend the lentils and do it. But the thing is, they are not gonna have the axioms from the roots, okay. This the the root of this that have the produce that needs to help your plants to grow roots, okay. So. I'm going to blend all of them. So in order for you to make them grow the roots, you have to place them in the in the toilet tissue like this on the on the you see the toilet tissue here on and uh, wet it very very well and then put the 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 seeds and then cover it with toilet paper also um, and, and then water it, make it very wet and leave it for about five days um, and then the roots will grow. So you have your all you need for your plants to boost on this um, fertilizer. You have to be careful not uh, to, 
so water is so much not to have to be all wet but not floated you know so I'm gonna <laughs> some of them is <laughs> sticking on the paper no it's sticking on the paper <laughs> It's very interesting, is it? Sticking on the paper. Uh, okay, I'm just nearly finishing here. Oh, the one that is close to the paper is sticking. I don't want to waste any of them so that's the best you don't need any fertilizer from you know you don't need to buy any fertilizer for your plants you can make your own and it's safe because it's all natural and no chemicals on it is just the you know the natural and uh, and that is iron that is everything on this on the seeds so everything that you plant needs to grow is stronger is in here the one that is hiding okay so toilet paper you know and then I cover with toilet paper also and put the lid on top and allow it to grow for about um, five to six days okay and then you can prepare and the best is the best of it is you can leave uh, for about five to six days on the fridge if you can leave on the fridge so you know you don't need to use all of them at the same at the same day unless you like me that you have too many plants so you you have to have loads of so i'm gonna use this water is from uh, is a raining water okay so it's another thing that i do is i collect uh, water rain so rain water i can i collect rain water so i have a all natural okay no chemical on my water also now i'm gonna blend it stuff and now because I'm gonna use my my spray on it I'm gonna spray my plant so I have to I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend a little more this you know the rest here I'm gonna blend a little more so it can be more fine this smells very natural the smell of it is very, very natural. So now you know, you have to, you have to prepare the lentils first, okay? You have to put them to, to grow the, the roots, yeah? 
you know how many plants you have got and how many water you have to do so depends on how many plants you have in, in, in the houses the, the amount of uh, of uh, lentils you have to you can do it with lentils you can do it with uh, beans you know it's a um, you can do it with beans also i'm gonna do another go i'm gonna go for another one so you know to take advantage of everything oh part of it i'm sorry to be so close <laughs> Okay. And the thing is, you know, the leftovers, you can you you, you 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 don't throw them away, you can use it also. You can have two uh two options. In the summer, you can dry these leftovers on the on the sun and use it as a fertilizer when you when you change your plants from one vase to another you can mix it uh, with the with the soil you know uh, or you can you can uh, use like this on the on the on the roots of your plants but i i advise to dry it before before okay so it's very hard to dry something here in England because the sun is not that hot. But uh, in the summertime, when the day is very hot, you can do it easily. But now in the in the spring, uh, uh, autumn, spring and winter, it's not possible because it's, the sun is not is not that hot. But uh, take advantage of the summer to dry them, okay? That's what I'm gonna do in uh, one month's time if they, you know, we have a good summer. But like this, you can still use it uh, on if you have uh, apple trees or be or pear trees or you know any any fruit tree that you have got in your garden. You can dig around the the trunk and then you can dig around and and place them and then cover with the with the soil. So it's going to be okay, okay? It's a very nice um, fertilizer. Okay, now, oh, it's, you see? It's very nice. But now, look, this one that I have got here. This is a skin. This is skin of sweet potatoes, okay? Two different types of sweet potatoes. I skin it, I, 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 I keep them because I'm going to blend it also and I'm going to mix with this one. It's more, more uh, um, vitamins, minerals for my, my, my plants, okay? And because it's all natural, because it's all from nature, it's, it's not too much. Because the problem with uh, a lot of products in um, when you buy products, chemical products, the problem is when you buy them chemically, you can you can you can uh, use them a lot on your plants because you probably gonna kill your plants instead of making them grow. But when it's natural, it's not a problem. You can do it about between two or three days. Every water you can use them. The thing with us is because you 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 think that the plus do, doesn't need it, but they do every day. Like you know, like you have vitamins to to boost your your body and to to help your body. The same way plants need vitamins also. 
and uh, you tend to forget about it, you know, you tend to think, oh, take for granted that the earth is there and that they have the soil and the water, but, you know, they need vitamins like we do. I do take lots of vitamins every day to keep my body, you know, function and to keep them healthy and, uh, you know, to protect my body, so why not? Do the same thing for your 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 our sisters and brothers from uh, you know from uh, from the botanic side. So I'm gonna mix them here also. You see, I'm mixing them here also. So now I have more to my because it's not sunny now. On the sun is not that hot now. I'm gonna use them on the on the on the foot on the on the roots of my on the trunk of my apple tree because i have apple tree i i feed my 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 grape tree so i don't need to feed them now but um i think i'm gonna use on my apple tree because for the last three years my apple tree has been very poor and my pear tree had a lot of of problems on the leaves so this year is better because I am uh, provide them with vitamins. So this year my apple tree is full of flowers, something that didn't have for the last three four years. So because I'm taking care more about uh, about the nutrition of my 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 fruit trees, that is what is improving them. Okay, so this one probably is gonna be for my apple in my on my pear tree. So now look. I have plenty here for all my plants. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this beautiful thing. Look, beautiful. All the nutrients my plants need is in here. All the nutrients my plants here is in here. They need it and I'm gonna I'm providing them okay okay this this is a sore throat that I have got from uh, uh, the leftovers or the, the the consequence of my vaccine because I took the second dose of the COVID uh, vaccine and one of the you know the the symptoms uh, is, is a cold so uh, cold so I didn't know that uh, one night I was okay, and then when I wake up in the morning, this one was there, and I said, what the heck, I never had that before. I never had this problem of, of uh, um, cold sore, ne never, never, never. So suddenly, uh, two weeks after, no, 10 days after, I took my, my vaccine. Uh, I had a lot of other symptoms of the vaccine uh, the day I had, the, the, the day I took the vaccine and the next day I had some, you know, of symptoms of this. But I, 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 this one I didn't have the first one. And then, uh, and then disappeared on my lips. And I said, what the heck, what's this? And then I start, I, I decided to, to do a research on it. And then my daughter from Cyprus told me, Mom, this is a, one of the symptoms of the, you know, the reactions of your body against the vaccine. So, yes, now it's dried already. It's gone. Now it's okay. It's gonna just need to drop this thing here and then I will be okay again. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, you know, it's a very small consequences for something that is bigger. So now I hope <laughs> to be protected against this COVID. Okay, um, very good that you are here listening to my videos and I, I thank you very much for it. And uh, let's continue learning. I have loads of things to tell you and I'm going to do it slowly, slowly, one video after another. Okay, God bless and keep you safe and me also. Bye-bye.